from the students of Penn State Meteorology, here is your Penn State Campus Weather Service forecast. Good morning, everyone. I'm Penn State Meteorologist Jacob Hare, here to give you your Penn State weather forecast. Starting off with a live look at Beaver Stadium with Mount Nittany in the background, we have these stratus clouds that are hanging over the university that might be warming our temperatures up just a bit with about 55 degrees for our current conditions and winds are calm as we go out for your morning classes. With a look over the state, you can see the southeast region is about, it's pretty warm for this morning. 59 degrees in Philadelphia, 60 up in Allentown, and it's 58 in Harrisburg. Up to the northwest, it is 54 in Erie with some of that wind coming off the lake, making things a little bit warmer. 46 in Franklin and 52 in Bradford, so warm this morning. As we look over to the United States, look at this temperature contrast between Memphis and Omaha. 31 degrees in Omaha, while it is 56 in Memphis, clearly a frontal boundary right in between these two cities. And what this is going to do is it's going to bring rain and cold weather towards the eastern parts of the United States, towards the Pennsylvania and University Park especially. So we have this rain coming up from the south, cold air coming from the north, bringing some snow into Chicago. It's going to get cold. It might not get cold enough for us to snow, but we'll see. Some models may be suggesting that. So look, here's our future radar. So we're going to have cloudy skies throughout the day today. Into the evening hours, we're going to have some of that rain coming up for Pittsburgh areas. It could be a little bit heavy at times. Making its way to the east into Scranton and Philadelphia tonight and into tomorrow morning. A little bit break in the action for the western part until again another scary line comes through for us for our Halloween into State College at about 5 o'clock tomorrow making its way again over to Scranton and Philadelphia for the overnight hours of Thursday and into Friday morning. So with that rain, we have some totals for you. The eastern part of the state is going to have a little bit higher chances for some totals, about two inches in Scranton and about one inch in Philadelphia. Over in the western part of the state, about one and a half inches in Erie and about 0.9 inches in Pittsburgh. This is just a model forecast. It may not come up to be, but it looks like heavier rain in the east and some lighter showers relatively in the west. For our forecast for today for our State College, 65 degrees and it's going to be partly cloudy with those winds at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. And then tonight, that's whenever that rain's going to start to come in from the system down south. 54 degrees, again, 5 to 10 miles per hour, but we expect some of that, those winds to kick up a little bit over the weekend. And then tomorrow for your Halloween forecast does not look to be good. Uh, steady rain at about 67 degrees tomorrow. Our five-day forecast, again, the, and tomorrow the system will be coming up, making it a spooky rain for us Halloween goers. Um, about 67 degrees with that rain coming through and lasting into about Friday where we're going to have some morning showers. Other than that, it's going to be nice and clear throughout the week. After the system comes through, high pressure will build in. One difference, though, is that it's going to be 67 tomorrow, drop down to 47 on Friday, and it will remain in the 40s for much of the week. And the overnight temperatures will drop below 32 degrees. Remember to turn your clocks back um, Sunday morning and uh, because we'll be having to fall back to, um, this weekend and make sure you do that. So anyway, my name is Jacob Hare and I will see you next time.